Hi, my name is Jack and welcome to another Kit Guru review. In today's video, I'm taking a look at Elgato's latest product in their streaming range, the Wave DX Dynamic Microphone. This retails for £99.99 .99 here in the UK and offers a premium dynamic capsule, room noise rejection, an internal pop filter and more. And as you can see, I'm using the Wave DX right now for the audio in this video. I've added no effects to it, maybe just a little bit of gain adjustment in post, but other than that, this is audio straight from the microphone to the computer. Now there will be a section later on where I do add effects, so stick around for that. And I'll also be comparing this microphone to some other popular choices out there on the market. So let's get into it. So the Elgato Wave DX comes in a pretty standard box, similar to Elgato's other products. It includes all of the key product information, opening this up you'll find the mic inside, and that's basically all you get besides a quick start and safety guide. Taking this out, my first impression was just how heavy it is. It weighs around 440 grams, just on its own. The dimensions are 5.3cm by 5.3cm by 14.6cm, so in all this is a pretty compact microphone. It has a full metal housing so it feels absolutely solid and well made. The only bit of plastic here is the removable logo. Now to remove this, simply pry it out and then you can unscrew the swivel mount and swap them over. Now I did notice that the logo doesn't sit completely flush on my unit, which is a bit annoying but isn't a huge problem. This built-in swivel mount is super practical and you could adjust the mic angle without it interfering with the XLR cable. Again, this is all metal so feels great. And even just for setting up this shot, this swivel mount was really helpful. Although I do wish that you could tighten up the screw a little bit more because the microphone does move quite freely as you can see and I'd prefer it to have a little bit more resistance. And I absolutely love the overall design of this microphone. It's great that there's no pop filter in the shot and usually they're pretty big and distracting whereas with this microphone you can have it in the shot without it being too obtrusive. And so far you've been able to hear the audio as I've been talking and you should be able to tell that the built-in pop filter is pretty effective. In fact if I do a test which includes a lot of plosives hopefully you'll see just how effective it really is. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. So hopefully from that you can hear that the microphone does a great job of reducing those plosives with the built-in pop filter. So setting up the Wave DX is actually very straightforward. All you need is an XLR cable and an audio interface with an XLR input. But bear in mind you will need an audio interface that can supply a minimum of 45 decibels of gain. You don't need phantom power for this, it's a dynamic microphone, not a condenser microphone, so do not turn phantom power on when using this. For this video I'm using Elgato's Wave XLR. This is a great audio interface that supplies up to 75 decibels of gain, and as you can hear, this sounds great great with the Wave DX. Elgato recommends a minimum speaking distance of 8 to 12 centimeters or 3 to 5 inches for optimal voice recording. And that's to be expected with a dynamic microphone, but that does mean that it will have to be in your shot if you're planning to use this for streaming or anything like that. But I don't really see a big issue with that. If I start to move away from the microphone, you'll be able to hear how different I sound and you'll start to notice that, to be honest, at a far distance this microphone is really not going to be that good. You do need to be right near it as I have been during this video for the best audio capture. So the Wave DX has a cardioid pickup pattern which means it's picking up audio from in front and rejecting audio from the sides and from behind it. So for example if I start clicking in front of it, you should be able to notice a difference if I start clicking around the back and the sides. So let's just have a look at that. What you should have noticed then was that as I was rotating around the microphone, the click sounded a lot quieter from the sides and from behind rather than right in front of it. Now you still will hear it of course, but this is great if you're typing on a stream for example and you want to reduce that keyboard noise. So how does this microphone sound so far? What do you think? I think this microphone sounds pretty good, especially for the price. It does a great job of removing plosives. And personally, for someone that wants to stream or something like that, not having a big pop filter in the shot is really important. 
It also does a great job of removing room noise like reverb, which is great for smaller setups. My only slight complaint about this microphone is that it does pick up quite a bit of background noise, so PC fans, wind, traffic, things like that, but you can get rid of that a little bit with some noise reduction. And here's just a quick example of the background noise, so if I'm quiet, put on a pair of headphones and just listen to this background noise. So you should have been able to hear from those tests that there is a little bit of background noise. Is it a huge issue? I don't really think so. I think for the price, you're getting a great microphone. So that brings me on to my microphone comparison tests. During this part of the video, I'll be comparing the Wave DX to a variety of other popular microphones. I'll be adding no effects to this. This will just be the audio straight into the computer. So let's listen to those. When Mr. Bilbo Baggins of Bag End announced that he would shortly be celebrating his 111st birthday with a party of special magnificence, there was much talk and excitement in Hobbiton. Bilbo was very rich and very peculiar, and had been the wonder of the Shire for 60 years, ever since his remarkable disappearance and unexpected return. When Mr. Bilbo Baggins of Bag End announced that he would shortly be celebrating his 111st birthday with a party of special magnificence, there was much talk and excitement in Hobbiton. Bilbo was very rich and very peculiar, and had been the wonder of the Shire for 60 years, ever since his remarkable disappearance and unexpected return. When Mr. Bilbo Baggins of Bag End announced that he would shortly be celebrating his 111st birthday with a party of special magnificence, there was much talk and excitement in Hobbiton. Bilbo was very rich and very peculiar, and had been the wonder of the Shire for 60 years, ever since his remarkable disappearance and unexpected return. When Mr. Bilbo Baggins of Bag End announced that he would shortly be celebrating his 111st birthday with a party of special magnificence, there was much talk and excitement in Hopperton. Bilbo was very rich and very peculiar, and had been the wonder of the Shire for 60 years, ever since his remarkable disappearance and unexpected return. When Mr. Bilbo Baggins of Bag End announced that he would shortly be celebrating his 111st birthday with a party of special magnificence, there was much talk and excitement in Hobbiton. Bilbo was very rich and very peculiar, and had been the wonder of the Shire for 60 years, ever since his remarkable disappearance and unexpected return. Hopefully you found those audio tests helpful. If it was a little bit unfair putting this up against the Shure SM7B, considering the Shure SM7B is three times the price of this, but I'm hoping it gave you an idea of how good this actually sounds. I did mention earlier on adding some effects to this microphone, so here is a clip without and with audio effects added. When Mr. Bilbo Baggins of Bag End announced that he would shortly be celebrating his 111st birthday with a party of special magnificence, there was much talk and excitement in Hobbiton. Bilbo was very rich and very peculiar, and had been the wonder of the Shire for 60 years, ever since his remarkable disappearance and unexpected return. So as you can see, with a few slight tweaks, this microphone can sound even better. But to be honest, I think this sounds pretty good out of the box. And that brings me to the end of my review. I honestly think Elgato's Wave DX is a fantastic microphone for £99.99 and, and is almost a no-brainer for streamers looking to use an XLR microphone. Honestly, the build quality, the sound quality, everything just makes it worth it. I also think Elgato have priced this microphone incredibly well to be both competitive and enticing for new streamers looking to get their first microphone or seasoned streamers looking to get an upgrade. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, it really helps out the Kit Guru channel. If you want to see more from us, be sure to subscribe, hit that bell icon as well, and you'll be notified when we upload another video. If you want to pick up a cool t-shirt like the one I've been wearing, the merch links are in the description. You can also check us out on Patreon as well, where you can unlock some exclusive content. And if you want to stay up to date with all the latest tech news, be sure to follow us on social media. My name's Jack, you've been watching Kit Guru, and I'll see you in the next one.